Hello and welcome back to A Real Horror Show, the YouTube channel dedicated to all things horror. So today I'm bringing you guys another horror collection showcase video. A couple of days ago I put a post over on my Instagram page asking you guys what you want to see as the focus of the next collection room video and obviously you guys chose to see the movie props. I just want to quickly say that if you do not follow me over on my Instagram page you know the old saying there's no time like the present. Over on my Instagram I post all kinds of photos from horror convention photos to well just photos of stuff in my horror collection and well everything horror. If you want to keep up to date with me the best place to do so is on Instagram and and of course, there's a link in the description there. So yeah, go follow me there. Anyway, back on topic. Throughout the many years I've spent building up this huge horror collection, I've been extremely fortunate to add some incredible movie prop replicas to the collection. And honestly, they're some of my favorite items that I own. So I'm extremely excited to finally do a video showcasing all of them together, at least the ones I have so far. Now I do wanna say that this isn't like a ranking video, so I'm not doing the top 10 or top 5 horror props in my collection, this is just a video showcasing them all. I'd find it quite hard to rank them and it'd be especially hard to choose what number 1 would be. So I'm just going to go through and just showcase all of them and you know just have a quick chat about each item. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. So just one quick disclaimer, obviously none of these prop replicas were used in any movies. Now I know that most of you already know that, but I just feel like I've got to put it out there and just say that none of these are screen used, they didn't appear in the movies, nor were they used in any productions of any films. These are just replicas made by companies or by independent artists. I mean, I really wish that these were the screen used props from these movies, but the only way that that would ever happen would be if A, I was a multi-millionaire, or B, a genie appears out of nowhere and grants me three wishes and I don't think any of those things are happening anytime soon. And also if you've been keeping up with this channel and my content then there's a good chance that you've seen many of these prop replicas and items in previous videos. Whether that's a top five items in my collection or my collection room tour which by the way if you haven't seen that video you should definitely go and check it out. If you just love horror collecting and horror collectibles or you like to see room tours of like horror collections and man caves and that kind of thing then that's definitely the video for you. But anyway, let's get on with it. Now, as you can see, we're starting things off today with this Trick or Treat Studios Evil Dead 2 Kandarian Dagger Prop. Now, how many times have I said recently in my videos that I'm a huge fan of the Evil Dead and that Evil Dead 2 is my favorite film of all time? I mean, I love the Evil Dead trilogy. Evil Dead 2 specifically is my favorite horror film of all time. Oh well, f it. It's my favorite film of all time. I love Evil Dead 2. And when I saw that Trick or Treat Studios were making this prop replica, I knew that I just had to have it. And when it was arrived and I unboxed it, I was just astonished at the amount of detail that they put into this thing and just how screen accurate it really looks. And on top of that, it's an extremely affordable piece to add to your collection. Trick or Treat Studios really have done an amazing job at recreating this prop. There's a lot of amazing details going on here and the paintwork is just fabulous as well. It's clear to see that a lot of love and detail and care went into recreating this piece and I especially like the fact that the piece comes with this really beautiful looking display base. Now mine arrive with a few dents and you know a little bit of wear but I'm not too upset about that because it's nothing that a little bit of paint can't fix after all. It's just really nice that Trigger Treat Studios actually included this for collectors to display it on. It's just something that goes an extra mile and just adds that really nice touch. On top of that, it's also got the Evil Dead 2 logo on the display base, which is really nice. The prop does have a really nice weight to it too. I'm guessing it's made of, of a resin. And yeah, I mean, it just, just looks phenomenal. It looks pretty much just like the one from the movie. Plus you can find it for a pretty affordable price as far as prop replicas come and pieces like this. So so yeah, if you're a big Evil Dead fan, especially of Evil Dead 2, I highly recommend that you pick this up for your collection. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <sighs> that mask is way too big for my head. So of course, up next is this iconic restraint mask worn by Dr. Hannibal Lecter, portrayed of course by Anthony Hopkins in Jonathan Demme's The Silence of the Lamps. I know I use the word iconic quite a lot, but let's be honest, when it comes to movie costumes and props and characters, nothing gets quite as iconic as this. And this absolutely stunning replica 
of that famous, or infamous, should I say, mask worn by Dr. Lecter was made by a company called Fiberglass Masks. Of course, any company or artist I mention in this video, I will put a link in the description below. Now, I'm not too certain if Fiberglass Masks still make this Lecter mask, but The Silence of the Lambs is another one of my absolute favourite movies. I mean, talk about an incredible movie, an incredible book adapted into just an absolutely perfect movie and I'm sure most of you out there will agree with me on that but yes it is one of my favourites and I knew that I really wanted a replica of this mask to be in my horror collection so I stumbled across fiberglass masks and this website and this artist phenomenal Fiberglass Mask mainly makes replicas of the Jason Voorhees masks throughout the Friday the 13th franchise and I mean every version of Jason's famous hockey mask you can picture all the way from part 3 up to Jason X and Freddy vs Jason he's got you covered on every single mask so if you're a big Friday the 13th fan then I do recommend you go and check out Fiberglass Masks because you'll love it, you'll be obsessed. But getting back to this, now I've got to say that this piece was clearly made with so much love for that movie because the detail in this is just it's 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 perfect in fact the original mask used in the sands of the lambs was made from fiberglass so this is an almost perfect absolutely perfect replica it's made from the exact same material as the one that was used in the film and it just looks spot on obviously in the close-up shots you'll see that the texture of this mask just looks exactly the same as the one in the movie it's worth mentioning as well that the straps do just clip off just like that just like how they did on the original mask and the straps are also made of a really nice leather and yeah it's just such a phenomenal display piece of a ridiculously iconic piece of horror history and movie history in general and I couldn't be happier to own this in my collection it definitely deserves a better display in my collection and that is something that I will be working on soon love your suit so up next we have everybody's favorite killer doll not you of course I'm talking about Chucky at least part of Chucky now this is one of the props that featured in one of my previous collection videos of course the top five Chucky items in my collection and it is a replica of Chucky's burnt head at the end of the original Child's Play and this is made by an artist called Tenok Art. Now I've been following Tenok Art and his work for quite a while now and by a while I mean actually a few years and I ordered this guy way back in 2018 when I saw that Tenok Art made these I just knew that I really wanted one with Child's Play being one of my favorite horror movies at least one of my favorites of the 80s and also the first horror film that I ever watched and also the first horror film that not only made me love horror but my first like horror obsession was Chucky and Child's Play and part of going on to collecting horror stuff and figures started with wanting to collect Chucky dolls and stuff like that. So this was an easy buy for me. And Tenok Art has done an absolutely stunning job. I mean, just look at the detail on this guy. I've got to say, I especially love the wires coming out of the side of the head and the acrylic eyes and teeth are just... Oh, such, such a great touch to this piece it really brings him to life and I love how the eyes really capture that look of Chucky at the end of the film when he's when he's turning more human and he's got these piercing blue eyes that make him look like really really evil and this piece really captures that hello Andy of course this is an unforgettable moment from the original Child's Play which to this day I think is still my favorite entry into the Chucky franchise? Well, it's either Child's Play 1 or Child's Play 2, but what is your favourite entry in the Child's Play series? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, once again, I'll put the links to Tanok Art down in the description. Go check out his work. You won't regret it. And yeah, I just love this piece. Now up next we have what is probably the most iconic, famous prop in the history of horror. And of course I'm talking about Freddy Krueger's glove from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Once again, this is one of the props that did feature in one of my previous videos, a fairly recent one actually, of the top five Nightmare on Elm Street collectibles in my collection. If you're a big Freddy Krueger fan, then I really do recommend you check that video out. I think you'll really enjoy that one. And as I mentioned in that video, I have probably more stuff to do with Freddy Krueger in this collection than anything else, well, besides the Evil Dead. But there is a lot of Freddy Krueger hanging around and for good reason. One, he is probably the horror character with the most merchandise. Two, 
you can't get enough of Freddy Krueger. I mean, I, I love the guy. And as much as I love Freddy Krueger, I love this prop replica of his infamous razor glove. This glove was actually made by NECA Toys and they did a fantastic job of replicating that original 1984 glove as worn by Robert Englund. Speaking of who has actually signed this piece, making it not only one of my favourite replicas and horror props in my collection but just overall one of my favourite items and holy grails in my entire collection. I mean for a horror fan I don't think it gets much better than this. And as I've mentioned before Robert Englund is just one of the most lovely guys that you could really ever meet. He takes so much time with each fan and always loves to chat with people and he's just re really kind and, and yeah I feel really fortunate to have met him multiple times and also get this glove signed by him. Now one thing I do want to speak about when it comes to this glove is that this is a mass produced item and it isn't going to be the most movie accurate glove on the market. There's companies like Nightmare Gloves that make insanely movie accurate replicas of Freddy Krueger's gloves from all the different Nightmare on Elm Street movies. But I will say that NECA have done a fine damn good job of recreating this glove. I mean for a mass produced item again like the detail and love gone into this is is insane. As I mentioned in my Freddy Krueger video they've even included the break here on the blade. Uh, this actually happened during production this index finger did break off and they had to solder it back on and NECA have included that detail as well as this tiny pinhole here on the side that was also on the original glove. Also this paper clip that holds the glove together at the bottom is also a detail that was on the original glove. So NECA have done a really faithful recreation of the original glove and again for a really affordable price. The main part of the glove that isn't movie accurate is actually the back plate here because it's quite large. But as I mentioned before in that video, that's quite a good thing for this because when you're gonna get an autograph off Robert Englund, it gives him plenty of space to sign it. So it actually kind of works out as a plus. But yeah, another spectacular job from NECA as per usual. And yeah, I'm really proud to own this. It's definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> So coming up next I've got a couple of Evil Dead prop replicas that I want to showcase starting with this guy right here. Hello. Of course if you've seen the TV show Ash vs Evil Dead you'll know that this is Ashy Slashy and I absolutely adore this guy. This guy was such a memorable part of the TV show and this is just a stunning replica of that Muppet. <sighs> Muppet! I mean puppet and once again this is actually made by NECA Toys and they've done just such a phenomenal job of recreating this and the fact that it's a real puppet that you can use and stuff like it's it's absolutely brilliant I mean obviously this is made from all different kinds of fabric and it's got the button eyes and I mean I don't know what to say about it really I mean it just kind of is what it is it, it, it is a puppet and it, it's absolutely spot on it looks just like how he does in the TV show I'm, I'm really shocked at how well NECA made this guy come out and additionally NECA Toys actually made a second variant of this puppet where he's the evil angry version with the spiky teeth and and the spikes around the chainsaw. Now unfortunately I don't own that version of this puppet and that's kind of where the downside comes in with this guy. In recent years these puppets have become extremely rare and therefore extremely valuable and quite expensive and I mean I hope that I could eventually get my hands on the evil version of this puppet for my collection but it's hard to say whether that's going to happen since they've gone so high in price right now. If you do find one of these guys out in the wild though and it's for a really good price I could not recommend picking it up enough because I mean just look at him. I, I love him. Well here it is the grooviest prop in my entire collection. Ash Williams' chainsaw hand from Evil Dead 2. Groovy. Now it might be a bit biased of me to say that this is my favourite prop in the collection, but I really do think it probably is the best prop in my collection. I mean, not only is this obviously extremely cool, because it's such an iconic and cool weapon and movie prop, but because it's Evil Dead and it's it's and I'm just obsessed. <laughs> No, but really, this this truly is one of the coolest movie props ever. And I don't think many people would disagree with that. So to talk a little bit about the prop, this is actually made from an original Homelight XL chainsaw, which was the original chainsaw that they used in Evil Dead 2 and 
Army of Darkness, of course. So this plastic housing here is an original Homer XL that I have modified to, well, make it an Evil Dead 2 chainsaw hand. All the custom parts on this chainsaw, like the top of the housing here, the handle at the top and the wristband as well as the grill at the side, was all made by Rob McLean of Evil Dead Chainsaws. He makes incredible chainsaw replicas from Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. He's also made Ash's robotic hand from Army of Darkness 2. His work's incredible and these replica parts are just absolutely perfect and of course the only thing that can make this even more cool is the fact that it is signed by Bruce Campbell himself on the chainsaw bar obviously it was one of the biggest honors ever to get to meet Bruce Campbell multiple times and also a massive honor to be able to get this beautiful display piece signed by Bruce this truly is one of my main holy grails in my collection and I, I can't really sum up how much I love this piece and how cool it is I think it speaks for itself really. The only downside is just how heavy the piece is. But at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, <laughs> they're just too damn heavy. And I know firsthand because I've cosplayed as Ash at various horror cons over the years. In fact, I'm working on upgrading my Ash Williams costume right now, ready for For the Love of Horror in the UK in Manchester at the end of the year. I've recently got hold of this blue dicky shirt for the costume, which is the exact same make of shirt that Ash wore in the film is same same colour as well so I'll be ripping that apart soon to make it screen accurate for the Ash costume but yeah I don't think anyone is surprised that this is probably my favourite movie prop in my collection but it isn't the last one we're going to look at today there's a few more incredible horror movie props that we're going to talk about just ahead so early on in the video we took a look at a replica of chucky's head well now it's time to look at a replica of the whole damn thing and here is chucky himself hi i'm chucky wanna play <laughs> of course this is the good guy doll replica made by Trick or treat studios I'm sure if you're a horror collector or Chucky fan, you're already well aware of these replica dolls that Trick or Treat Studios have been making in, in recent years. Not only have they done the good guy version of Chucky, but they've done Chucky from the Seed of Chucky along with Tiffany and Glenn as well. And now NECA Toys have just joined the game by releasing their Bride of Chucky dolls. As a horror fan, I would say that a life-size Chucky doll replica is definitely an essential item to have in a horror collection and Trick or Treat Studios have just done an absolutely phenomenal job of recreating this absolutely iconic good guy doll. I'm actually extremely thankful that we're now living in a time where these companies are mass producing life-size Chucky doll replicas because when I was a kid and when I first got into horror and became obsessed with Chucky and stuff I would have absolutely loved to have got my hands on one of these guys. And Trick or Treat Studios has brought us a replica good guy doll for a pretty affordable price. Now I know that like £500, it's still expensive, it still brings a hefty price tag. But compared to like what there was before, Trick or Treat Studios made these and stuff. Custom good guy dolls made by artists can cost thousands. And yeah, the, the more screen accurate and I'm sure they're worth the money and stuff. But to be able to get one of these guys that look this good for a somewhat affordable price is it's pretty amazing. Now, of course, I did go over this guy before in my top five Chucky items collectibles video. So again, I recommend you go check out that video if you haven't seen it already. And in that video, I do mention the fact that I have been fortunate enough to meet Brad Dorif, who is the iconic voice of Chucky. He actually signed this doll for me on the neck. Yeah, since then, this has become without a doubt another one of my holy grail items in my horror collection. So once again, Trick or Treat Studios, such a phenomenal job, and I couldn't recommend picking up one of these guys enough if you can for your horror collection. So, the penultimate horror prop we'll be taking a look at today is none other than the Boogeyman himself, Michael Myers. Now, I know that earlier on in this video, I said that there's nothing more iconic than Freddy Krueger's glove. However, the only other thing that I can think of that might be a close contender for that is the mask of Michael Myers. But the thing that makes this mask replica so special is the fact that it is made by Nag Studios. Nicholas over at Nag Studios is just an incredible artist. I mean, his work is phenomenal. He makes without a doubt the most accurate 
Michael Myers masks on the market. I mean, the detail he puts into these things is just, it's, it, it's second to none. It, it's, it's, it's just incredible. Of course, I'm going to put a link in the description to Nicholas's work, so please go check it out. So if you've seen my top five Halloween collectibles in my collection video, you'll already know everything about this guy. But what makes this horror prop even more special to me is the fact that it is signed by Nick Castle, who of course is the original actor who played Michael Myers. And on the other side, it is signed by none other than the master of horror himself, John Carpenter. Now that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is without a question, not only one of my favourite horror props in my collection, but it's also just an absolute holy grail, and I couldn't feel more fortunate to own this piece. But of course, there is one more horror prop that I want to showcase to you guys today, and it's safe to say that I've left the biggest for last. See, I told you, I wasn't lying when I said I left the biggest for last. So, coming in last, but certainly not least, we have this Norris Spiderhead prop from John Carpenter's The Thing. You gotta be f kidding. I mean, look at this, I can barely get the guy in frame. Now, I did do an unboxing of this guy over on my channel when I first received him, and if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you go and check that one out. It's a great video. And of course, I give my first thoughts on this prop over there. And I've got to say, this is an absolutely stunning prop replica and an absolutely beast of a display piece. When I first saw these guys circulate in the internet, I knew that I, I really, really wanted one in my collection and I was so happy. I'm, I'm still happy. I'm extremely proud to have this guy in my collection. I absolutely love the way he looks. It makes for a fantastic display. I think it's a wonderful replica of that extremely iconic scene from John Carpenter's The Thing, which by the way, I still think is hands down one of the greatest horror movies ever made. I wish I actually knew more information about this guy, but unfortunately I don't know who made this prop. All I know is they pop up on eBay now and again. There's nothing on the prop to say where it came from or who made it, but whoever made these, they did a fantastic job. It's actually got a really great likeness to Norris from the film. The actual prop that was used in the movie actually looks quite different to this, but if I'm going to be honest, I actually prefer the way that this replica looks because I think it looks more like the actor who played Norris. So the Norris head itself is actually made out of some kind of foam. I think it's like foam latex. It's it's relatively light, but I'm still surprised how well these legs managed to hold up this prop. It's extremely clear how much love went into making this and the details are just so fantastic. He's, su he's such a gnarly looking prop and I just love it so much. Not only is this the biggest prop in my horror collection, but it's certainly one of the best. Okay guys, so that just about wraps up today's video showcasing the horror props in my horror collection. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep updated with my content. As always, I appreciate all the love and support that I get on this channel, and please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite horror prop on this list. Also, don't forget to tell me what else you guys would like to see from this horror collection. What would you like me to showcase in a future video? Please let me know. And until next time, guys, take care.